reports, everything you'd really want to know about these championships is on that website. And as Valentin Andreev goes into the circle, just a quick shout out at this moment for European Athletics international partners, Eurovision and Spa, whose help is bringing you the live stream. So this is the very first action of this afternoon, and we've got about four and a quarter hours ahead of us, 13 gold medals to be decided. And that's a very good start from Andreev, well over 75 metres. You can see the lines there, 75 and 85 metres. I think that's in excess of 80 metres. Certainly closer to the 85 metre line than the 75. Well, quick. Second man in the circle. Mezhushek. Not quite 70 metres. Sorry, I should have said not quite 74 metres. For Ratashik, 74.93. Mezhushek got 69.39. We've only got two lines out there. I'm a big fan of getting a few more lines out there to help the likes of myself, the commentators, and the audience as well. Kokan now, what a big throw that is. That's close to 85 metres. That's going to be hard to beat. That's a championship record, without a doubt. Eighty-three seventy-four. That's an improvement on his own championship record set in qualifying. Fairly similar to his first round effort of sixty nine thirty eight, maybe just fractionally further. Poland, of course, fantastic hammer throwers in the senior ranks. Wojciech, Nowotski and Pavel Fajek. Fajek, the reigning world champion from last year. Men who could possibly fill two of the top three places in Berlin at the forthcoming European Athletics Championships. I'm sure they're great role models for these two men. So you've just seen Mizyashek improve to 71.23. Ratashik, that's a good throw there, 75.51. Just five centimetres short of his personal best. Well, this is the man who seems to be on his way towards gold medal if there was any prohibitive favourite at this competition, it's this man. 83-74, a championship record in the first round. Ooh, massive throw there. Well over 85 metres. We're going to keep an eye on this.
What a huge throw there from Kokan. 86-60. Well, it's just 16 centimetres short of his personal best. And that ranks him second ever amongst under-18 performers. Now Oskari Lartanen. Larton and around the 70 metre mark. Well, Kokan closing in on the world under 18 best, 87 16. Now it's Hilbig. A decent throw from Hilbig, possibly just shy of his personal best of 73.34. Hilbig had 71.96 in the first round, gets the white flag. Now, Bodan Potterus had a foul in the first round. Decent effort, just comes down just short of the 75 metre line. Yes, confirmed, 73.24. Moves him up into fourth place. So, just under 70 metres there for Stupak. Slight improvement for Lajlo Stupak, 69.83. So he moves up from ninth to eighth. Overtaking his compatriot, Benedict Dommer. Oh, that's better from Dommer. That's probably around the 71 metre mark. Aldoma, best of 73.33. About a metre and a half shy of that at the moment, but good throw there from Doma. That moves him up a few places to sixth, 71.87. As we finish off the second round with Georgi Kekishvili. Well, had a foul in the first round, but... Hammer just catching the cage, but it still went out to probably around 72 metres. That looks like a clean throw. And a good throw indeed. Now 
No foot faults. Now let's see if he can improve on his personal best. Oh, yes, he can. 72.58. So an improvement of 35 centimetres for Kekishvili. That's a national under-18 best for him, and it moves him up into fifth place. Here's the man in the silver medal position at the moment. Over five metres behind Kokan. But just under five metres ahead of the best of the rest. No, rather sloppy effort. So he deliberately fouls it. Mesiasek going into the circle. The pole. <laughs> Seventy-one twenty-three in the second round. His best so far. Not quite as far. That's for sure. Thomas Ratoschik, youngest man in this final, still only 15 years of age. Just five centimetres short of his personal best with that 75-51 in the second round. Really is a huge talent in this event, even though we've been talking about Kokan and Andreev. I think that might well be a personal best for Ratoschik. I'll consolidate his bronze medal position. I'm not a hammer throw coach, but that looked like a very nice throw indeed. Coming round very quickly with the shoulders. Good release. Seventy-six oh one for Ratashik. So a personal best for him. Now, let's keep an eye. He's closed down on the world under-18 best in big fashion. That stands to Ben Chalash. 87-16 for the Hungarian. Back in 2014. He's strong and he's fast. Oh, that's a big throw. Now let's hold our breath and see what comes up on the scoreboard. White flag. They so quick across the circle, so strong into the bargain. Uh, flew across the sky here in your New championship record, 87-0-0, just 14 centimetres shy of the... World under 18 best. He's closing in on it with every throw. Now here's a man who's got to sort himself out. Raphael Winkelvoss, the German. Had a personal best in qualifying, but he's got two fouls so far. He needs to throw better than 71-23 to get into the top eight. Might just have done it. Nothing like as strong as Kokan, but quick and good release. 70 9 So that's not going to be good enough to see him through to the top eight. Now, oh, Soren Hilbig. Well, Hilbig, I think, has secured himself two 
three additional throws. He's lying in sixth place at the moment, and there's only two men still to throw who can overtake him and push him down. That was a poor throw, though. Around the 68 meter mark. No, that's deceptive. It was over 71 meters, but his best still remains 71.96. Back to the hammer. Uh. This is Benedict Doma. Seventy-one eighty-seven uh. to Doma, and I think that's an improvement. Doma, best of seventy-three thirty-three. Uh. Shaking his head, but it, not happy with his technique. Let's have a look at the distance. Oh, I think he's got reason to be pleased. Now the big throwers, Valentin Andreev, 81-41 in the first round, followed by two fouls. Long way to make up, though, on Cole Can. No, that drifted. Just over 75 meters. I think his foot faulted again. He's got more than five meters advantage over Ratachik. No, he did get measured. 76-70. Well, Andreev has thrown over 85 meters this year, but. Still a huge amount to make up on Kokan. So we go to the bottom of the order, and it's Pavel Mirziashek. 71-23 in the second round is best. That looks significantly better. That's about 73 metres, I think. Well, 73.44. He moves up two places. Sixth place. Well, Potras was lying fifth after three rounds, but has been pushed down. It's now eighth. Well, his best is 73.24 from his, the second round. Hasn't managed to improve on it with his last two throws, but that may be there or thereabouts for Ukraine's number two under-18 thrower. Well, not quite an improvement, 72-40. 81-41 is big throw coming with the very first throw of the competition. And he's just been looking for another big one after that. No, that's not going to be an improvement. I think he can feel fairly confident that the silver medal is his. He's got more than five meters to make up on Kokan. So 76-24, still better than the bronze medalist Ratashik. He's had two other throws over 76 metres in addition to his big 81-41. Now Mikhailo Kokan. Well, he set three consecutive championship records in rounds one, two and three. 87 metres, the second best throw ever by an under-18 thrower in the third round. Foul in round four. Confidently say he's got the gold medal wrapped up. Looks a bit sluggish that throw. Uh, drops down around the 80 meter mark. A 
a bit further than 80 metres, 84.03. What a fantastic series that is. Major credit owed to this young man, Georgi Kekishvili. Two improvements on his national under-18 best. In fifth place at the moment with 73.61. Well, is that a further improvement? It's close to the mid 73s, I think. <laughs> and it's a further improvement 7367. So he's had a great competition. Three improvements on not only his personal best, but his own national under-18 best. Finishing on a high note with 73.67, taking fifth place. Well, Bodan Potterus hasn't been able to improve on his 73.24 in the second round, and he's been pushed down the order to eighth. That's better. That's bang on the 75-metre line. That'll take him up a few places, that's for sure. Could rise as high as fourth. Potras has a best of 78.42. So he's been throwing a bit under par in this competition. 74.86. It means he's just going to be out of the medals. Now the man lying down in eighth place. He's just slipped back there one place after that throw from Potras. Benedikt Doma, Hungarian thrower. Doma, 73-33, his best ever. Oh, that's a big throw. I think he's added to his personal best there. Has he stayed in? Yes, he has. Well controlled. Potras moves up to fourth with that. And a personal best by more than a metre. 74.94. Well, Thomas Ratajic got a foul. But the pole, the 15-year-old pole, who's confirmed with the bronze medal. Now Valentin Andreev. Just over 75 metres, so no improvement. In fact, he, I think, foot faults, just to tell the judges not to bother measuring it. Confirmed in the silver medal position with his 81-41, the very first throw of the competition. Now, all eyes on Kokan. 87 metres in the third round. That's the second best throw ever. And he's shown such consistency in this competition. He could challenge Bent Halash's world under 18 best of 87-16. Keep your eyes on the distance. It's a big throw. That's no doubt about that. Oh, it's a massive throw. It is outrageously far. The gold's secured. The gold was secured from the very first round. Now let's just hold our breath and see what distance it is. I got a feeling that is going to be a new world under 18 best. Yes, we've got waiting for confirmation of it. I can see on the track it is 87-82. A new world under 18 best for Mikhailo Kokan. No under 18 hammer thrower has ever thrown so far. So not just one, but two world under-18 bests in this, the Gure 2018 European Athletics Under-18 Championships. He's delighted, hugging his coach, hugging his teammates, deservedly so. Well, just having seen his compatriot Valeria Ivenko having been awarded the gold medal for the women's hammer decided last night. Here it is once again. Look and learn, all you prospective hammer throwers. 
It's massive. Sixty six centimeters further than any other under eighteen athlete has ever thrown in the history of this event. And sportingly, congratulations from Ratashik and Andrev. They knew they couldn't hold a candle to him today. Well, the big question now is, he graduates from the under-18 ranks. What's he going to do at the under-20 championships next year in Gaula in Sweden? They'll be partying the Ukrainians tonight. Let me just remind you of that series while he's taking the congratulations of everybody around the bend at the far end of the stadium. 83-74. Well, there's his winning throw, but a series that really is without parallel, 83-74, 86-60, 87-. His only foul of the competition came in the fourth round, 84-03, and then with the gold medal won, 87-82. As we run down the rest of the results, silver going to Valentin Andreev of Bulgaria.